kind of mysterious. Good morning, everybody. I'm Adam Bilsing, and this is the Oregon Drum Project, where we do daily deep dives into every aspect of playing the drums. Today is day 135, and our topic is details and when to move on. Kind of mysterious. If you'd like to practice along with me today, I'll be doing some exercises out of a DVD called The Brush Secret. That's right, it's brushes today. I'll be running full circular motion patterns at 55 beats per minute. So let's get down to work. Okay, so details and when to move on. I've been working on these same brush exercises for a pretty long time now, and I'm not gonna say that I'm playing them perfectly because I'm not, but I am down to concentrating on some pretty small details and actually kind of a handful of small details. And I'm considering uh, moving on a little bit and getting into some new brush exercises next week. So here are the details I'm looking at in the full circular motion brush exercises that I've been doing for a while now. Uh, the first big one is separation between accents. I was noticing, especially with the pressure accents, that I had a tendency to kind of run them together. And instead of sounding like separate notes, it just sounded like one big wash. So I'm paying attention to uh, separating the accents, also constant and consistent motion. So when, the, when one of my hands is not playing an accent, I don't want it to be sitting still. I want it to still be stirring so that I get the nice underbelly of, uh, of that stirring sound under the accented notes. So constant motion, loose grip. That's one that has been a struggle for me when I'm working on the brush accents at faster tempos. My hands want to kind of squeeze and tighten up. I mean, all of me wants to tighten up, but most importantly, my hands. So loose grip is another thing I'm looking at. Consistent note or accent length and volume. That's another one, consistent accent length, meaning I want all the accents to be the same uh, length as each other. So they take up the same amount of space in the rhythmic grid and uh, consistent accent volume because sometimes my left hand is a little weaker than my right hand. So I'm trying to keep them all sounding the same. And last, but certainly not least, does it swing? So far, usually no. Usually it does not swing. But that is the ultimate thing to be looking out for and really the whole purpose behind all of this. So I think this might be my last day spending the whole two hours on full circular motions. I think I'm gonna try to get into some of the other patterns in this DVD. But those are the whole list of things that I'm looking out for. Uh, separation between accents, constant motion, loose grip, consistent note length and volume, and does it swing? That's a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna play up and down through the tables of time for you here. I'm gonna do the wax on motion, which I like with my right hand on top, but I'm gonna do the acceleration accents, which have been problematic for a handful of reasons. So I'm gonna be keeping all those things in mind. I'll play a little bit and uh, next week there'll be some new brush patterns. But let's see how it sounds for now. Oh, and I forgot, I'm at 55 beats per minute with a quarter note pulse in my ear this time instead of eighth notes because 55 is fast for brushes.
Ugh. Wow, still plenty of work to do there. All right, that's gonna do it for day 135 of the Oregon Drum Project. That's 135 days working towards my ultimate goal of ecstatic improvisation through technical mastery of the drum set, which just means I wanna freak out real good behind the kit. Special thanks as always to my video producer, Mr. Silas himself over at Red 11 Media. Also shouts out today to Remo Drumheads and Ludwig Drums because I got to play on the actual snare drum, which was pretty nice. If you'd like to follow along and make sure you don't miss any episodes of the Oregon Drum Project, go ahead and like and subscribe below. You can also follow me on Twitter, Minds, and Instagram at Dirty Bandana. Now over on Reddit as well, username Dirty Bandana Drums. And of course, if you'd like to get all the details for everything about the Oregon Drum Project, including some brand new merch in my store, head on over to DirtyBandana.com. That's it for today. We'll see you all next time. <laughs>